Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today we're delving into the different ways heaters warm a room. Have you ever wondered why the heat from the sun feels different to the heat from your radiators? Or why some heaters seem to warm you on a deeper level? Keep watching to find out more. And before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. Some of you may already be familiar with heating jargon such as conduction and convection. If you're still scratching your head, don't worry, I'm here to break it down for you. Heating any space requires a method of heat transfer, meaning the way the heat travels from its original source to keep you warm. There are three types, conduction, convection, and radiation. In this video, I'm delving into the science behind each one to show how they affect the way we heat our homes. First up, we have conduction. Conduction transfers heat through direct contact. Think about how the heat from an iron removes the creases from your clothes or how the warmth from a mug feels against your palm. That's conduction in action. When it comes to heating your entire home, conduction isn't the most effective. As a matter of fact, it's pretty impractical. However, it does increase the surface temperature of your heater as a byproduct, making it hot to the touch. In order to heat your home successfully, you need more than conduction to keep you feeling toasty. Convection is a much more common way of warming a space and you probably already use it in some capacity within your home. Convection uses the air to transfer warmth. It can be found in gas central heating, electric radiators, storage heaters, and electric panel heaters. As cold air passes over a heating element, it warms and rises whilst heating the room. Colder air then drops to go through the same process, creating a convection current. Highly responsive, this method brings rooms up to temperature quickly, but can create an uneven spread of warmth. And for larger rooms, a convection heater would have to work extra hard to fully heat the volume of air present. This type of heat can also be lost easily to drafts, open doors and windows. As a result, convection heaters such as panel heaters aren't the most efficient for prolonged use, which is why they're better used to supplement your existing heating solution. So if you need to top up the warmth in your guest bedroom, conservatory or home office, a convection heater is the ideal solution. If you're looking to heat your entire house, then we'd suggest a more robust method of heat transfer. Which brings us to our final type, radiation. Radiation is a 100% natural form of heat. Unlike the other two types, it does not require a medium to transfer warmth. Instead, it travels through invisible waves to heat you and surrounding surfaces directly. Think of the sun on a warm day only without the UV rays or the same type of heat our bodies emit on a regular basis. The way radiant warmth works is simple. It completely bypasses the air and is easily absorbed by the walls and surrounding objects, which then re-radiate that heat back into the room. This creates 360 degree warmth that isn't lost to drafts or open doors. Because of this, radiant heat is the most efficient form of heat transfer. Choosing a heater that utilizes radiation is your best bet for primary heating throughout your home. Electric radiators and gas central heating supply 30% of their warmth via radiation and the rest through convection. Whereas ceramic radiators are roughly 50-50, making them a great option. For 100% radiant warmth, look no further than infrared panels. They're easily one of the most efficient heating systems on the market and they're perfect for a range of spaces too. That's it for comparing the different types of heat transfer. One thing that's important to point out is that you don't necessarily have to pick one method over the other. Many heating solutions combine conduction, convection, and radiation to give you responsive yet lasting warmth. It's this combination that makes electric radiators such a popular choice and why they're leading the way as an efficient and effective heating solution. Want to find out more? Check out the resources in the description or take a look at some of our other videos for more of our hot topics. But for now, that's all from me. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.